we're going to lunch right now. We just got off the plane. Quick, quick, quick outfit change. Just pulled out whatever was in my suitcase. And I look horrendous, so we're we wearing, look, we're putting we the shades on. We look That's insane. Cool. But I can't believe I'm in Paris. It sounds so touristy. Dude, Paris is so beautiful. We're gonna get fun. We've been wanting fun. Actually, I've been really wanting fun. I've been wanting fun in France because historically, when France colonized Vietnam, all the Vietnamese people became so good. Terrible world geography. I'm so excited. I heard pho is the best in Paris. So, this is a food journey always. So pretty. She like, kind of busted. So, we share a bowl of pho, and then we're gonna go back to get cafe food, and then we're gonna go and get sushi. Okay, let's get sushi and then <laughs> go to the cafe. Again, just us again being piggies. <laughs> oh lord. I go out to eat I just want to like absorb all the new flavors and then try to recreate it because I always have pine nuts at home it's looking so good summer it squash with pine good. nuts and cheddar yeah, with a little lime zest I love this burnt cabbage lettuce what is it cabbage yeah cabbage it's like just iron oh. so delicious very very yummy we're gonna move on to our next restaurant right <laughs> yes it's only very been very so basically so earlier we had pho and then we took a nap for like two hours two or three hours i cocked out and then we got ready basically just did our hair put on some mascara and then while we're at early june we had a little bit of a wait so we got boba in the meantime so now we're gonna we're going out tonight so we're gonna restaurant hop because they don't go out until 1 a.m Bro, 
this is so nice. Yo, can you fix your posture? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> she took off her shoes because she's scared she's gonna lose them. <laughs> She wants me to drop the shoes and go get a car just to shock everyone in Paris. Even though no one, no one would care and no one would watch because everyone would just laugh at me. Truffle, prosciutto, goat cheese, and fig. It's good. Can I see the inside? Ooh, I don't know. I dropped it inside. Figs, honey. We're doing a little emotional recharge before we go out. It's 10 p.m. Our dinner was so yummy. We went to early June, by the way. Um, this is my outfit to go out. The skirt is actually pretty, Melville. Don't hate me, but there's a little mesh slip, which I really like because it's hard for me to find a black mini skirt, but this is really stretchy and comfortable for when I have food babies. This uh, lace slip is from Jaded London. This bralette is actually not mine. We'll see where we're going out. I think it's very fun to be in Paris. Go experience the nightlife. <laughs> I think it's really nice to have a vacation where you can just relax in the room. Sometimes it's hard to get your social battery to go back up, but in Europe, they're kind of crazy and they go out till six in the morning. So we needed that nap earlier and we needed this recharge because we're charging our phones and making sure that we have enough battery so we can get home. Generally though, I feel really safe in France. So that's good. Oh my gosh, also, this is the vintage shopping we did earlier. It was at this place called Kilo Shop. So I spent 40 euros and I bought three trench coats. This one is really cool. It is, I don't know how to style it yet, but it kind of reminds me of like a uh, boat crew and it comes with a white collar and the back is so sick. It's, I love the color scheme. It kind of looks like a bathroom, but I think it's really cool. I think I can make it work. I always just like to buy cool pieces when I travel because then you never know when you'll need them. This is another jacket I got. I love the color scheme of this one because I love my butter yellows and baby blues. This one's really pretty. Oh, but it's actually really cute. There's a very like feminine shoulder here. The last one is my favorite. Oh, this one has this really cool detailing. There are these three like ruffles, I guess. Definitely the most versatile of the crew. Very cool. I feel très chic. Oh my gosh, that sounds like an Emily in Paris line. <laughs> Feeling très chic. Actually, we went on this tour and we went to Monaco and Monte Carlo and our tour guide was so grumpy But her name was Sylvie same as the grumpy boss in Emily in Paris <laughs> Kind of funny. Oh damn. Okay. Okay. It looks cute Like a Candace's outfit. Everybody clap for Candace <laughs> Serve. Serve. Okay, we're gonna get ready and then let you know when we go out. We're gonna meet our friend from Singapore our high school bestie, Celine. We're going out now, it's midnight. Yeah, we're trying to stay up all night because we have a flight to catch tomorrow. Yeah, we have a flight at 1, which means we need to be in the airport at 10. So we're going to be up till 8 and never sleep. <laughs> at 9 in the morning, we have our flight at 1. To be at the airport at what? 10, 10 30? Last night I said, Should I set an alarm? She says, Nah, I got you, bro. I'll just wait. I'll just stay up the whole night. And then she doesn't she wake up at 9.45. I was like, uh. She says, should we just miss our flight, bro? You're insane. This is Formula One, bro. Oh my god. And he just put up a hand like, sorry, bro. I just cut the whole line to the serve. But you try, try helpful. Try, try, try intelligent. You know, intelligent. Try big brain. <laughs> grand big, grand big brain. <laughs> If we make this flight, it's because of you. <laughs> In America, we say slay. We say slay. 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 You say slay. You say slay. You say